You liked a lot the previous video about useless things, and so I thought, why only 50? Why can't we do a very high number like 94? This is 94 useless things in fear and hunger! You are theoretically able to kill the wheels in the Battle of Chambara. There are some problems though, they have 10,000 HP, they are gonna heal one time every time they take the first damage each turn, and just to precise, a turn includes also the extra turn, and the most important part, with all this damage, you could have already killed the Chambara multiple times if you wanted. If you see Nosramus in the darkness, and then you go into the chamber of Nosramus and talk to them, if you are Kahara or Ragnavaldor, there is a simple approach. But of course, if you are Dars or or Enki and you do this, you are gonna become the one creeping in the shadows earlier. Najra cannot die from the ruin attack of ghosts, and he also has a special line of dialogue if this should happen. Which of course, since the character is Najra, is centered about roasting the opponent. If Moonless gets the infected flower debuff in a battle, she will never attack. The reason is that the flower makes it so that the character can only use normal attacks and attack randomly, but Moonless does not have the normal Normal attack, she only has the bite attacks. If you try to make love with the demon baby on a ritual circle, the game will ask if you are sure, and after that, you are gonna immediately die because of it. You know, when you reach the void, everyone leaves your party except skeletons and ghouls. It turns out the blood golem is supposed to leave your party as well, but you cannot have the blood golem in the party. E except if you use some very specific glitches, but, but still. If you have Najra in your party when the miasma event happens on your main character, after you kill everyone, he will trash talk you and say you are not different from the scum of this dungeon. I mean, in this case, he isn't half wrong, you know. There is one precise conformation of the dungeon in which once you traverse a very specific corridor, there is a chance for a guard to enter through the door and rush at you. And mind you, this chance is not every time you traverse the corridor, this chance is only once. Fear and Hunger is region locked in Germany, if you try to search it on Steam, you won't be able to download it. I am sad, cause this reduces the amount of players which are able to experience it, but about this, let me pause the video for a second, cause I want to talk about another game, with already over 80 million downloads, a completely free to play RPG with the beauty of console graphics on a mobile game, where you can collect over 800 different champions that you can customize in an infinite amount of ways, and use them to triumph on the bosses. Not to mention that the game gets updated very often, and these things are gonna become much, much more with the time. And if you still don't know which game I'm referring to, of course I'm talking about Raid Shadow Legends! If you love stuff that fits thematically, with the winter you can add some icy cold champions to your collections if you want. My personal favorites for this are Jerogid the Breaker, which is already in incredibly high base attack stat of 1600, and also skills that allow him to ignore all the protective buffs of the opponents. What can I say, I love hitting opponents really hard, and also those two zords are so freaking cool. And also Nishak the Vermin Lord. Not only he's able to place bombs on the opponent, but once those are detonated, he will also be able to place poison debuffs on them, dealing massive damage. The Cursed City, one of the biggest features since the Doom Tower was also added recently, with 100 stages to complete, some of which will have two bosses at once, and incredible rewards such as a mythical champion. There is also a Christmas story event, still going, where you'll be able to follow Sir Nicholas to gain some fantastic prizes, including some Amazon gift cards, you just have to join the event on this link right here. So, what are you waiting? Are you ready to join the raid? You can start playing now by using my link in the description below, or by scanning this QR code. And you better do it, because you will get two epic champions at once. Light Sworn and after level 15, Juliana. If you want, you can also find me under the name of Frapolo94 and join my clan, and we will be legends together. Thank you so much to Raid for sponsoring this, and now let's go back to the video. The first magnum opus of the developer is not Fear and Hunger, it's a webtoon called The Gas, Great Anime Story, which is about uh, Yakuza? 
And honestly, I still did not read it, and I don't want to spoil you regardless, so in case you're interested, you can find it online. If you have Legard in your party when you find Darcy, she will beg you to join your party immediately. Because of course she wants to stay with Legard, she wants to protect him, you know. But of course, if you want to put it on the chains in the Temple of Torment, she doesn't say anything! The Staff Arm of the Yellow Lizard Mage, and if you are in Terror and Starvation difficulty, even the Staff Arm of the Yellow Mage, have Hurting in their ability pool. But as I think you noticed, that they never use their arm to cast hurting, they always use their feet. Why? It's very simple and very disturbing. Because the hurting they have requires 40 mind to be used, and the opponents have less than 40 mind. But still, imagine if this was not bugged how the yellow mage would be actually in the hard mode early game. The game will ask you if you want to use necromancy on some corpses in the infested mines or the torture chamber or near the salmon snake, but then afterwards it will say that the corpses are so damaged that the necromancy will not have any effects. And since we are talking about necromancy, if you use necromancy on the genitalia of Olmir, they will become bigger. Do you feel realized with this information, you absolute madman? The brown vial is the only item in the game where, if you want to get it from an empty scroll, you will need to write it not fully in caps. You have to write brown vial, not BROWN VIAL! If you are Enki and ask to make love with Darcy, she will have the same exact reaction she has with the marriage. So, in universe, in Darcy's eyes, Enki is as ugly as the marriage. Don't trust Darcy. You are fantastic. If you ask about Najra in the Hall of the Gods and he is in your party, then he will literally roast one of the new gods, like, literally. He will burn them. Maybe it's not a good idea to have Najra as an enemy. Remember the confirmation of the guard following you? In that same confirmation, a door will open if you trigger the Crow Molar. Like, yeah, if you play all the game specifically avoiding that and going to trigger the Crow Molar, if you go all the way back, that door is gonna be opened. Like, why? Is this, is this a bug or is this lore? Does the Crow Molar pass through that in lore? Stop making lore videos about the old gods or something, I want to know about this stuff. If, on the very first the turn of the battle with Valtail, you are able to kill both the sides of the brain, you will immediately win. Huh? You are asking why this is useless? Do, do I really need to explain to you why taking down two huge HP bodies is not only difficult, but, but also you could just, you know, attack the head in the first place with all that damage? Even if the demon kid does not follow you in the void, there is a way to have a demon kid in the void. There is one specific opponent in the void, which is the flying blight, on which you can use demon seed. And I swear, if someone in the comments will say that this is useful, I love the fantasy you are living in. As you know, if you lose the coin flip attack of Francois, you will enter in battle with another golden Francois, which has one small difference from the previous one. If you die here, you don't get a game over. You go back into the violation scene, and then another battle starts, over and over again, until you just close the game. Wow, this thing is darker than all the other endings, honestly. The Cave Dweller Child in the Cave Dweller Village will always be alive, even if the massacre kicks in. If you ask Najra to pull the blue scene out of the stone, he will go crazy at you and will call you a jester. But at this point I think Najra is just being lazy because he could just use hurting on the stone if he really wanted to. All the characters are level 2. And... That's it. The Anathomia book tells about the existence of different states of fear, but th these are not in, in the game. Like, th 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 there are mind events, of course, if you have low mind, but there are no states related to mind? Was this just forgotten? The Vault Key. The key necessary to open the cage of the penance armor. One of the most important keys of the dungeon is the one item of the game which does not have any item descriptions. As you know, in the current version, the War Scythe is a pretty bad weapon. But we can make it even weaker. If you use Bloodlust, the attack of the War Scythe is not gonna attack every part of the opponent with increased damage. No! It's gonna attack only one body part of the opponent, but with the same accuracy of the War Scythe, basically making it a very missable single target attack. The developer really did this weapon so dirty that there is no point for a redemption arc. If you make Najra eat the first time, he will have a special event in which he will spit the leftovers. Or that's what should happen because the event is currently bugged and does not work. Not only the penance armor prevents you from partaking into the bunny masks, but also into the wolf masks, because I guess requires you to 
put on their mask, and you cannot do that. There is one food you can only get with an empty scroll, which is the glow mushroom, and there is one food which is exclusive to Dungeon Knights, which is the flesh strips. Some books, such as the empty scroll, have a 96% success rate, which I think should influence if the item works or not in battle, but uh, you, you cannot use it in battle, so... eh. When you reach the entrance of Mahabra in the present and the cutscene plays, only the four protagonists, Legard and the girl, can appear. Because I guess all the other characters decide to visit Grandma or something in this moment. If Legard dies in the fight with Ragna Bowser oh. while you have Darcy in your party and you fight with her and you talk to stop the fight, she will start another fight immediately after that. Which honestly gives more characterization to Darcy, now she also has bipolar disorder. If you use Devour on enemies such as the Mumbler or the Greater Mumbler or the Black Witch, you will get poisoned on the main character. Falling down the big hole in the Temple of Torment in the past will bring you to an unfinished version of the laboratory, where you can't go anywhere, so you just die. Some specific chests, when failing the coin flip, will always be empty, for example those in the zone of the passages of Mahabre, or even the one on the roof in the temple district. Once you enter Mahabre with the torture still alive, Buckman dies and torture disappears of course, but uh, what happens to Seymour? He disappears too. Did he kill torture and left? Is this why we don't find the torture in the dungeon? You can make the human hydra eat the girl or the demon kid, which does nothing! Don't you think it's weird that torture has no prisoners alive when you meet him? I mean, no, knowing the torture is not weird, but still, in one particular confirmation there will be one Iron Maiden with someone inside, judging from the text. The beat him option has a standard no reaction but it's satisfying message, but there are also some exclusive ones. For example, the cave dwellers are surprisingly muscular, or the outer shell of the mumbler feels hard, torture head feels squishy, and there are many more, but I think this point was already useless enough. All the main characters have a state rate for arm cut of 100%. Without going too deep into explanations, if this state was lower or higher than 100, it would do something. Something. But you know what does it do at 100? Nothing! The baby demon can use skills if you teach them using scrolls. Why is this useless? W would you really get a demon baby party member to use skills? Hmm... Demon baby only run. Let me write this down, okay? The lowest damage protection you can have on a piece of equipment, which isn't just 0%, is 1% protection against slashing and piercing thanks to the black dress of the girl. If you have a very low defense and throw an explosive vial on a lizard man which has used the counter, this will happen. Basically, Lizard Man counters with all the body parts at once, and you die. Troop number 77 in the game files is a wooden door, but if you kill this wooden door, there is a melted scarab, a, a, a sliced in half scarab behind him, which is never used in the actual game, and that's it. Some characters won't die when face rape is used on them, such as the girl, abominable marriage, skeletons, ghouls, and Najra. It's kinda usable, but it's so specific you shouldn't care regardless. If you try to steal from Kahara, he will notice you and stop you immediately. You cannot steal from the King of Thieves. If you talk and give a yellow vial to a fly Blight, it will say they leave you alone, but the, the blight actually dies. Uh? Oh, and the reason this is useless is because it was so difficult to start a battle with this because it just goes around the whole void. Do you know when the priests do? Each priest does it independently. This means if you kill one of the priests but the other stays alive, you will hear this sound less often. And no, the third priest which spawns randomly does not sing. There is one thing you can't get from the crow molar, but you can get from the double-headed crow molar, the Captain's Diary 3. Using the passages of Mahabre will make the four new gods appear, but if you already defeated some of them, those will not appear. But if you go and defeat Francois without defeating the other, so what happens is no one will appear, because uh, I guess the developer forgot about the empty scrolls. If you are in the old passage, you can peek through a small hole in a wall of a house, and it will say you can see a chest inside. But wait, 
Did anyone already see this location? This is the same location of the passages of Mahabre in which you can find an ever-watching talisman in the chest. If the scarab did not come out of the hole and you try to put an arm in it but you have no arms, you will not be able to enter it if you fail the coin flip. But of course you can still put your arms in the arrow hole. If the white angel is alive, it does not matter if it's present or past, he will still be present in there. The second cave dweller on the wooden platform in the cave dweller village will be there only either if you are Darcy, or if Darcy dies, or if it's hard mode, otherwise after you save Darcy, he will disappear. If you have the demon kid and go to the doll, you can have the option to give it to him. You know what happens in these wholesome moments? That uh, he will wreck it into pieces. Pieces, and you will lose the doll. Uh, let's go to the dagger! If you have the demon kid at the dagger and you give it to him, he will say something related to increasing its damage output. So he's not able to understand about a doll, but he's able to understand a knife is able to increase your damage. You know how they say, the language everyone speaks is violence. If you talk to skeletons or ghouls, you are able to disable the necromancy, which is gonna make them instantly die. And no, you cannot resurrect them afterwards. The dog on the right side at the entrance of the fortress is the same dog present at the entrance of the thicket. If the first one is dead, the second is gonna be dead as well. Everyone knows the interaction if you choke Legard in front of Darcy, but not everyone knows if you choke Legard in front of Kahara, he will comment on what you did, but in the end, uh, he doesn't want troubles, so he will just respect your decision and go along with his day. Using a counter magic on the old knight will tell you that your counter magic is not strong enough. If an enemy dies on a moonless pissing spot, you can make her pee on enemies. It is funny, but uh, it's useless. In the death scene of the elite guard, there should be other party members in the room dismembered, with some unique sprites also for the girl, for example. But because of a bug, they are not present. The balls in the gauntlet at the end of the road will slowly fall down vertically. W where are they, they, they going? Are they going into an even deeper part of the dungeon? Miro, add a new zone in the dungeon, level 11, where the balls finish. The weakness of Chambara is different from all other weaknesses of the game, because while those increase the damage taken by 50%, this increases damage taken by 100%. Talking multiple times to Moonless will increase the affection Moonless has towards you. At level 3 affection, she will almost do what you ask, like here for example. Talking to goals will make them tell you about their past. One was a farmer who entered the dungeon to find treasures, one was a sacrifice to Grogroth, one locked himself up and starved to death, you know, usual fear and hunger stuff. If you talk to the assassin specter, you have the option to give him back the sword, and this will cause him and the sword to disappear forever. In a cave gnome fight, there can be up to five cave gnomes simultaneously. If you have Darcy in the party and Legard has become a new god, there are some very small exclusive things both Darcy and Legard will say the dialogue. But overall, nothing really changes. In an embryo fight, there can be up to three embryos. If you talk to the god of fear and hunger, it will say stuff that you can't understand, but on the very first turn it's different. If you talk, the girl will be looking around, seeking help. And after this, I think the emotional damage is too much and you will just shut down the game. Some attacks of the opponents don't have an element. This, long story short, will make it so that it doesn't matter which armor pieces you equip. That damage can only only be reduced by guarding. This includes, for example, Sylvian Tentacles and the Hairy Palm from The Lord of the Flies. The table in the starting zone does not give you always the same book. It's gonna be 50% list of inmates, 50% captain orders. The prison map of Dungeon Knights comes from an unused conformation of the prisons of the game. The peculiarity is that the lever is much, much closer to you than normal. Cave Mother Torso, Salmosnik Torso and Valtail Head have the lowest agility of the game. Two agility. The Embryo has an unused coin flip attack. If you fail, he will use a move called The Embryo is Knowing Your Feet, which is gonna deal massive mind damage and will paralyze you? Huh? Oh, I want this attack in the game. Miro, bring it back, please. The attack Medrash from Guards adds a state called the Normal Attack, which does... nothing? The attack with the highest base damage in the game is Chomp from the Greater Blight, with a base 120 damage. Status effects are displayed in a specific order based on their priority. The higher the priority, the more they will be on the left in the status list. For example, Poison has 50 priority and Bloodlust has 70. Which one will be on the left? 
Bloodlust. The enemy skeleton can have its defense increased by 50% if you talk and say prepare to die. The funniest part is the defense is only gonna increase by 5, which almost changes nothing in the damage you deal. If you have mastery over insects and talk to a spider, he will break the fourth wall because you are not able to persuade him with your mastery over insects. If you use leg sweep on the lady of the moon, she dies. Yeah. The Pinecone Pig, when bringing an item to you, has a chance to, instead, not bring you anything and even try to fight with you. But you shoo it away, but uh, the Pinecone Pig is really the best. If you kill the Moonless Guard in the zone of Mahaber with the Columns, it will make a Moonless Guard appear in the Cave Dweller Village dead. In the Cave Dweller Village, you can jump down from this wooden platform. It does... Nothing. The spikes of the gauntlet deal a very specific damage depending from the spike itself. Some deals 20, some 10, some 13. I guess it was done to create randomness, but it's not really random after one point. While normally for enemies you can't devour, you still have the prompt and then it will say you can't, the Iron Shakespeare does not even give you the possibility to devour. On the Discord server of Fear and Hunger, they apparently held an art event in which they asked to draw the appearance of the Dark Continent of Vinland. It was just for fun and nothing was really added into the game because of it. If you enter into the ancient pit of enlightenment, you are still able to go to the Hall of the Gods from here. If you cut off the legs of the Old Knight and then escape, you will notice how the Old Knight cannot move anymore, with also a unique sprite. There is a Fear and Hunger ripoff on Google Play called Fear and Hunger Dead, and uh, as you can see, it seems Fear and Hunger, but then if you, if you download it, uh, scary chicken head? Uh, if you want a video about it, let me know in the comments. Najra is immune to fracture, which is useless because, you know, he's immortal. And for the final one, did you know that only 38% of people that watch my Fear and Hunger content are actually subscribed? So if you like this, be sure to leave a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments. But for now, I was Frapolo94, and don't forget to join Raid Shadow Legends by using my link in the description or by scanning the QR code on the screen.